ever get the full body jolt before your brain even thinks, I'm scared? It's like your stomach's already panicking and then your mind catches up. That's not random anxiety. That's your insula confirming, yep, the fear is real. When the mind and body finally agree, that's when the alarm becomes an experience. Brief recap from round one, the insula sits deep inside your brain's emotional core. It's the translator between what your body feels and what your mind knows. So now in round two, when the ACC lights up with something's wrong, the insula gets the memo and fires one back to the amygdala. Confirmed, this is real, not a false alarm. This reply closes the feedback loop. The amygdala feels validated and the body ramps up to match the emotion. It's like my body told my brain, we're scared. And then my brain said, copy that, panic authorized. That's your insula doing its job. Sometimes it's a little too efficient. Well, maybe you should just calm down. It's all in your head. Well, technically, Captain Useless, it is in my head. It's called the insula. Thanks for the anatomy lesson. <laughs> Burn. But the insula doesn't keep the news to itself. It forwards the message to the PCC, the storyteller of the self. That's the instant you realize this is happening to me. So the ACC says something's wrong and the insula says there sure is and I can feel it. So the body and emotions sync up in this perfect fear harmony that's probably more like scream metal. Tomorrow, we'll meet the PCC and find out how that fear gets its story and why the brain starts whispering, oh no, not again. <laughs>